All right. So, hey, everybody, this is Pat with Local Biz Domination, and I'm here today with Matt. And uh, Matt had some stuff he needed help with on formatting high-level calendars for his AI automation agency uh, so he can get some stuff done for his clients. And so what we're doing today is we're going to be doing some, uh, you know, since Matt um, has limited experience with scripting, and, you know, styling stuff and things like that, we're going to show you how you can actually code and style calendars or just about anything in high level using chat GPT. So Matt, take it away. Let's see what we got that you want to get fixed. Okay. Go ahead and share your screen. Yep. Let's do it. Uh, okay. So right. trying to figure out how to change that to say 1.5 hours or an hour, 30 minutes mm -hmm. and to make it. So the schedule meeting button says book voyage or book trip or something like that. Oh, okay. So that's for like a fishing trip sort of a thing. So, yep. okay, cool. So the first thing what we want to do then is like duration is showing up there in, in the, um, you know, in the, the text there. So what you would want to do is you want a script that's going to be able to go and grab that HTML, convert it to hours and minutes, and then replace the text. So what that's what I wanna, was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to right click, like you want to right click on the 90 minutes there, and then you want to hit inspect. And so if you're in Chrome, and I would suggest you use Chrome, then you want to actually, um, yeah, set that up. So what you want to do is like... Um, highlight that 90 minutes so then you've got the label so scroll down a little bit on your yeah there you go and so then you've got that so let's let's see let's can you increase the size like zoom in on this yeah there you go so what so what that that looks like is is that in high level that's an html element and it has a class it's like css classes are basically little notifiers to the browser that says like anything with this has this kind of style and that sort of thing. So you want to be able to use the class booking info value. And then that element has the value 90 minutes in it. So what we would do is now that we know what that is, and I'm going to share my screen now okay. is I'm going to come over here and I'm looking at the same calendar. So we did this a little bit earlier but what I would do is I'm going to zoom in a little bit like this is I have that element in here like this, just like what it, you know, like what it said earlier, but uh, this was a different calendar, but it was eight hours instead of 90 minutes or so mm -hmm. I basically type in chat GPT. I have a web page with some markup like this. I give it the example and I say it needs, it contains an appointment duration in minutes. So I let it know what it is that it's looking for. And then I need JavaScript that when the window load event triggers, and here's the thing with high level, a lot of stuff happens. And then you, you like content doesn't exist until the window finishes loading. So you want to do anything like uh, JavaScript type stuff. You want, like, if you're going to change content, like the, like the value of buttons and things like that, then mm -hmm. what you want to do is you always want to tell it to wait for the window load event. And so JavaScript can sit there. Uh, you can load JavaScript into the page, but it'll sit there and wait until the window finishes loading. That actually triggers. It's kind of like a high level trigger for a workflow. It basically mm -hmm. triggers this event and says, okay, now do all the work. So what we do is that we actually take like basically wait for the window event and then replace the text of that, of that div. And that's what the HTML element is with the class booking info value with the time in hours and minutes, like eight hours, 10 minutes. So if the duration has no minutes, then don't display the minutes, just the hours. So that's all I gave it. And then here it does, uh, you know, it comes up with this, you know, tells me what it wants to do and all that stuff. I don't really care. We just want the code, right? So it basically created all of this code. So then um, one thing that I noticed here is that it's got all the comments in it and then there's no actual script tag. So you could paste this in a code block and it wouldn't work because you don't have it in script tags. So then what I did is I said, please generate the code with script tags and no comments. And so then it did this, which is really good. But then I really wanted it more compact because we're going to take this code and we're going to put it in the, uh, the custom code block for your calendar. So I just, last thing I did, it says, 
render it again with no additional carriage returns. And then here, poof, it did this nice little tight chunk of code. So I'm going to stop sharing. I know you've got the code lock. So let's see what you're, the heck it looks like when you're you, so polite with your chat GPT. You better be polite or otherwise it's going to come for us when it gets self-aware. That's all I'm saying. Mm. Be it's nice not. to the bots. <laughs> so share your screen and then let's dump that code in. Okay. Let me see. <laughs> um, share screen. There we go. Yep. So the code was. Did you send me the code? Uh, I you sent me the link to it. Okay. Let me go grab it. Link. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in, in your high level, you want to go to, to your calendar settings. And you'll take that code and then put it in your custom code. So where's that? And let's see. So in your, you got, got to go back to your, uh, your calendar settings. There you go. Edit. Edit. And so then what you do is you go down to customizations and right in there. Yep. You insert that custom code okay. and then you save it. And now, we and see now it. let's refresh it. There it is. One hour, 30 minutes. Ta-da! There you go. So now what was the next thing that we got to do? We got to The next thing we were going to do was change the button to schedule or uh, book voyage or book trip, something like that. Something a little okay. more clever than schedule meeting. It's not really meeting. Okay. So I got to pick a time. And so let me look at what we got to do here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to inspect the button. And so one thing I want to do is, like I said, in high level, sometimes content doesn't exist until you click on other things. So let me refresh this and let's see if that button exists. It does. I know it button schedule. And so if I pick a time and I click this, then it changes to schedule meeting. So what magic. we want to, yeah, well, so high level is changing it too. So it's changing it dynamically. So now in this case, what we would want to do is we know what the, what the button is and button schedule. So what, since this is the same exact button, like you'll watch, watch this code here in the corner, see how it sits there and it says continue. Mm -hmm. And then if I pick a time, it's, it's refreshing it again. But then when I click it, it's the exact same button, but it's saying scheduled meeting. And so it's it's basically changing the value of the button. So what I need to do is I need to tell ChatGPT to listen for the button to change its value to scheduled meeting and then change the value again to book my voyage. So okay. what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna take this and I can say copy element like that and then i can come over here to chat gbt again and we're going to say i have a web app that changes the value that oops that let me see dynamically changes the value of a button the button mark markup looks like this initially like this, and I'm going to say continue. And then when a user clicks continue, the button value changes to this schedule meeting. I need some JavaScript to listen where the button to change value to, oh, and I just can't type today, schedule meeting. And when it does, I need to change, change the value to book my voyage. Please generate the JavaScript with no comments and make sure to wrap the script in script tags. Now let's see what it does. And then we'll test it. 
So here it goes. It says boom, and it's saying add an event listener. And so, wow, that's really quick. <laughs> Dang, All right, that's like let's let's super see fast. It. So what this what this is doing is it's basically attaching um, what they call an ev an event listener. So anything that happens in the page is like an event, right? You're clicking on things, mousing over stuff, but it says. Dom subtree modified. So it's looking for any changes to that button. And then when the button changes, anything changes at all, it says if the text is equal to schedule meeting, then change the text to book my voyage. Poof, done. So I'm going to copy now, the code. Yeah. Can we get it to combine that script with the other one? Yeah. So if you wanted to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the code and then drop it in for you like that. Mm -hmm. And what you want to do is you just want to copy this chunk, like this little document query selector and all that stuff, and put it right after the window add event listener. Actually, you know what you need to do is put it, put it inside the window event listener. So what we're going to do is I'll tell you how now this works. Watch this. We got this. I'm going to go. I have two scripts. I need to put the second script inside the window event listener of the first script. Here are the two scripts. Here's the first one, and here is the second one. And I'll do this. I'll go copy this code, paste it there, and let's see what happens with it. Now it's going to combine them both the way we want. First content script. There it is. Poof, poof, poof. And there's the second chunk. Please remove comments and extra carriage returns. Oh. And it'll generate it for us again. So it's nice and clean. And then we can take that code and dump it. Hopefully it'll work and we'll dump it into your custom calendar of code. And all this is without really knowing what JavaScript to write or having to write it. I mean, I know I could I could write this, but it just is so much faster to say, hey, Chad GPT, do my code. And this keeps you from hiring VAs and all kinds of things. So now what we want to do is you can put that code in. I'll stop sharing and then you can try it out. And you replace what you did the first time. Let's take it. Check it out. Okay. So we've oh, got go the ahead, hour Sherry. 30. Thanks. Oh, yep. So we've got the hour 30. Mm -hmm. Select our time and book my voyage. There it is. Ta -da! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chad GPT. That's awesome. So what else do we need to change? Anything else? Uh, I think that's it for now. Sweet. So all good. Yeah. That is how you change your calendars and customize your stuff for your clients. Excellent. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Yep. Like, subscribe, <laughs> comment, share, do all the YouTube things and keep on GHLing, I guess. So go, cool, man. Sweet. Later.